A lot of doctors think that malpractice and malpractice lawsuits are driving up healthcare costs. Malpractice is forcing them to actually order tests and do procedures that they don't think are medically necessary just to protect them against a lawsuit. Is there any truth to this idea? Well, it's certainly the case that a lot of doctors face lawsuits. In high-risk physician specialties like neurosurgery or cardiac surgery, if you practice over your lifetime, you're almost invariably going to be sued for malpractice. Even low-risk medical specialties like pediatrics, you face a 70% chance of being sued over the course of a 30-year career. So you can see why doctors really want malpractice reform. They don't like the fact that they're almost inevitably going to be sued. But because doctors are going to be sued doesn't mean that malpractice reform will actually control health care costs. There have been a number of studies that have looked at states that have changed their malpractice laws and seen have they actually controlled medical costs. And the fact is, when you synthesize all the data the way the Congressional Budget Office did, malpractice reform, say reducing the maximum of non-economic damages, limiting the statute of limitations so adults have to sue within one year or kids get to sue within three years of discovering the malpractice, really doesn't affect medical costs very much. It doesn't decrease the rate of growth of medical costs. Why is that? Why, if malpractice is such a big motivator of doctors to order tests, doesn't reforming malpractice actually lead to cost control empirically? And the reason is, Doctors have multiple reasons to order these tests. Taking away just malpractice does not change their behavior. They still have a rationale that they might be paid more to do that test. They might be responding to patient demand. They might be responding to the way they were trained and what they think a good doctor does. And so it turns out, yes, they might have ordered that MRI scan for low back pain when they know they shouldn't have, but even when you have malpractice reform, it doesn't radically change their behavior to limit what the, the tests they order and what treatments they provide, and therefore doesn't really change the overall costs of healthcare. There's a lot of data that doctors don't like malpractice, that they will get sued even if they haven't done anything bad, but we should not think of malpractice reform as a way of controlling healthcare costs. It's just not what the data show.